Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Second Quest. In the last episode, we beat level 4, which was actually our fifth dungeon, and now today we're going to beat level 5. Hmm. No, let's try this again. I want to wind up at level, um. Okay, yeah. Hey, extra bombs, that's nice. I want to make it to what used to be level 3. There we go, let's see here. Ha! Ah, there we are. Yeah, this, this is because we're heading, of course, to uh, level 5, which is where level 4 used to be. I... In the, between last episode and now, I gambled up to level, or up to enough rupees to buy second level medicine. Yay, more bombs. I don't think we'll actually need them. But I did some checking. Of course, there are no, um, there are none of those guys who try to steal your money, so far as I know, as I... You know, like I said, I checked the map. There are none of those guys who try and steal your money. There's just... So, you know, I don't actually need to... You know. So we don't need to grind up that high. Alright, but, uh, you know, we do need the medicine. Because, unlike in... Um, first quest, level 5 is where we first run into whiz robes. Yay! Level 7 is probably easier than level 5, but unlike level 5, you need um... Level 5 is where you get the bow, and you need the bow and... Oh, crud, I should have ground up to... Oh, well. If you grind up to... I should have ground up to 80 and bought an arrow, too, but eh. Okay, so here we are. Ooh, yay, Zol. Zol are always nice. Okay. Um, hold on one second, I'm going back to... I've got my map up, so that's a thing. Alright, so, right. We want to very carefully... Ha! Go left, and not get hit with the traps. Ah, like-likes. Eh... Everybody hates like likes, but hey, we've got the magical sword, which means they're a lot easier to kill. I'm going to kill all of them, mostly because I really hate like likes. And of course, we get and the five bucks are nice. Ignore, ignore, ignore. <laughs> There's really no reason to fight all those guys. There's nothing in that room. There's bubble. There's 900 different kinds of bubble. Oh, hey. Thank you. Yeah, this is a bad place. Ow. Luckily, I mean, even when they're doing that thing where they're ghosting back and forth, you can hit them. Ah, <sighs> so yeah. Okay, let's see here. So we warped up here, which is, you know, this is, this is important because this is how we're going to get to the bow. Uh, and of course you see that the door didn't open, so, dude, you have to push that. And we come through here, yeah, hi Goma. There, the only reason to kill this guy would be if you need a key. We, of course, have the magical key, so... Blah. Ow. Right then. So we have the bow, and then once, you know, so we'll want to get arrows before level 7. But, for now, we're fine. So basically... Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, those guys are jerks. So now we're just gonna go right back through through the thingy bob. What is this thing called? The secret passage. 
And watch out. You know, avoid the bats. Okay, and now just run. Oh, fuck. Did I? Nope, nope. Alright, we're gonna stay in the doorway until, or well, at least, you know, we're gonna try and get out of everybody's way. There, out of the door. Yes, that was worth getting knocked around for. There are enough things in this dungeon that I don't like. Okay, hold on a second while I check my map again. Alright. <sighs> okay, then. Right. Ow! That was just poor. There we go. Okay. So, come forward a little and hey, Vire. And a rig... Okay, that was just... No. <sighs> uh... Ha. Luckily, white bubble. Okay, I was expecting... And the map spawned right on top of us. So yes, this is the last of the letter dungeons. Um... Aw, oh, crap. There we go. Ah, dang it. I hate blue bubble. I hate all the bubble. I hate all bubble. Ugh. <clears throat> Alright then, um... I'm just going to go... Yeah... Uh, let's... Try and get out of here real fast. This is actually not that bad. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I... <laughs> but, yeah, I figured at that point, you know, I might as well just use the thing. I needed it. And now, I have my hearts back. And we get some extra money. That was totally worth it. Yeah, there's... This room isn't dark, it's just got a black floor. If that happens, I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Okay, the next room is going to be f fun for the whole family. Move, move, move. Luckily, luckily those are white bubble. So you don't have to worry too much. Let's see if we can kill this jerkwad. Nice. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, if you get to the point where you can figure out their, um, you know, their their movement patterns, you don't, you, you can usually do that, but not always. They can be a little erratic. Wow, I killed the leader of the keys. This is going way more smoothly than it has any right to, and I may wind up at this, with this I may have to wind up, or have to, I may wind up doing level 7, which is going to be a bit more of a thing. We'll see. Alright, oop, fire. Might as well kill all of these guys, because I can, and because, you know, they drop... They're like... These guys are like Zol now. Okay. I just was checking just in case that, you know, there might be Moon Masters. So, watch out. Meet the three-headed Gleok. We missed him in the, um, original quest. Not that it mattered. <laughs> yeah, so meet the three-headed Gleok. He's, um, he's a thing. In the original first quest, he's in uh, level six, up in the north, yeah, northwest corner, which we deliberately skipped, of course. Okay, so let's go find us. Um, really, let's go find us some cash <laughs> because I do want to, you know, I want to buy an arrow. Might as well jerk. Well, obviously, the best way for us to get cash is to go to the Tektites, and that way we can also warp back up towards the gambling place. So, we'll do that. Alright. There aren't any arrows up in in the, that actual... Uh, what's the word? There is a gambling place here, if you bomb into the wall. We could do that right now. Um, hmm, actually, we are pretty close to a place that sells. So why don't I show that off? All right. Really? 
There we are. That took way too many bombs. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to show you how the whole thing works here. Uh, you know. So, you know, we go in and yeah, yeah. Okay then. Well, never mind. I was going to save scum, you know, cut out, cut out actually trying to get all of that money. But you don't have, I thought you had arrows. Oh, that's all right. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Well, we can check, you know, this, this place up here. You are irking me. Someone want to give me a heart? Uh, there. Right. Now I think... I, I know level 7 has at least... Nope. No arrows. Right then. So we will do actually mostly what I was going to do. In part because I need another... I need basically 130 bucks because I know level 7 has at least one of the... Um, Rome Mithril calls them muggers. Which I think is a great, great name for them, because that's basically what they are. Your money or your life. <laughs> yes, and I would quote Jack Benny, but who knows how many people still actually remember Jack Benny. Not only, you know, not only am I older than some people, I'm also, I also tend to have old tastes in entertainment comes from having old parents. My parents were considerably, considerably, you know, five to ten, my parents were like five to ten years older than the parents of most of my peer group. So, you know, that was kind of a thing. My, I mean, you know, my, my parents dated for nine years before they got married for various reasons, so yeah. And then I was born five years later. All right, so I want to head. That's not where I want to head. Okay, let's try this. Ha! Excellent. Of course. Thank you. All right, so hey, we've already got 120. So really, I only need 10 more rupees. You are all going to die slowly and painfully. Right. Thank you. I don't often manage that. Wow. Alright, let's see here. So we pick up an arrow, because we're going to need that to finish the next dungeon. And I basically need two more rupees, which should be easy enough to get. Let's take a look at certain things. And of course, you know where level 7 is. Or you, you probably, well, you may or may not remember that, you know, level 7 was, of course, where we, you know what, I'm going to kill you guys too. Level 7 was, of course, you... Oh, that, that was just cheap and awful. <laughs> Level 7 is, you know, we opened it way back when. Alright, let's see. I'm sure one of you guys will give me money, right? No? That's okay. I've got other plans. Right, yeah, if we go basically... Okay, um, the money and the hearts are... The money... The bombs and the hearts are nice, but I need cash. But yes, ah, jerk. There we go. Now that should be enough. Let me check my notes. Right, there is one, two. There are two, um, quote unquote, muggers in the dungeon, but I believe we only have. To deal with one of them. Alright, hold on one second. Let's see here. And I'm back. 
sorry for the delay. Yeah, <laughs> we're fine. There are two muggers in this dungeon, but we only need to pass by one. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, so welcome to level seven. Ow, well that was just poor. Okay, yeah, th there is a secret passage in here. Don't take it. It's really not much good to you. Uh, let's see here. If I remember correctly. Hold on a second. Like I said, checking my map. Uh, there is nothing in here, so you might as well just run. There's n You get nothing except, you know, aggravation. And, of course, this is a nice safe place to stand, so... We can... We, we don't have to kill these guys, but I've got a nice safe place to stand. Also, the, the bubble distribution is surprisingly <laughs> not evil. Haha. <laughs> yeah, another thing you gotta love is... That, you know, the magical sword makes killing these jerks a lot easier. Yep, so... Just... Okay. So, wait. Wait until they're mostly out of your way, and... Ah, dang it. Yeah, that's the other problem, of course. In fact, you might want to do this and see if you can get a better bubble distribution. The bubble distribution was great for killing them. But for getting through the door, this works a bit better. Okay, now we are going to have to kill everybody in here. Luckily, the bubble are all white bubble. So, you know, all you have to do... I mean, one of the things you can do when dealing with white bubble... It, I mean, you might as well wait a lot of the time. But if you get hit by white bubble and you don't have the time because you're in the middle of a bunch of guys, well, then the best thing you can do is uh, blow the... F blow the flute. That basically freezes everything on screen, but the bubble... The bubble... the counter for how long you're frozen keeps going. So, as once the flute... The flute freeze stops. The bubbles, the white bubbles attack is worn off. Doesn't work with red bubbles, sadly. Okay, so we had to come up here because this is how we're going to get to the candle. Yeah, the, the, ouch, the red candle is the dungeon item. It's, it, really the red candle is sort of useful, but not incredibly so. Well, that worked. Okay, so once again, checking my notes. Uh, okay, right, so we're up here. Basically, we go down and prepare yourself for, yeah. Dark nuts, joy. But, it, you know, the, the nice thing about having the magical sword is that the dark nuts are a lot easier to kill now. Ha. Okay. Yeah, you want to be very careful how much money you, you know, use. But given that Paul's voice have this tendency to drop rupees, you can often wind up better off than you were. So, let's kill most of the bats anyway. First thing we do, let's kill all the bats. Okay, and we get the red candle. Eh. It's, especially this late in the game, really, I've always found the red candle most useful for things like, um, you know, if you're not quite sure where a burnable tree is. So, I don't know, this late in the game, eh, but yeah, well, whatever. Watch out for the, watch out for the bats, 
I hate bats. All right, so now that we're back, we just get to continue on. But yeah, you can see how this is actually a lot in, in some ways it's easier than level five. Okay, let's try this again. See if I can get... Nope. Okay then. Yeah, one of the things with this jerk is that, you know, the more you hack off his hands, the more, the faster he goes. Yeah, the only, and the only way to get out of here, I mean, it won't move until you kill him, but that's how you get out of there. So, yeah. Okay, stand on here. Good. And there is no reason, Ack, uh, there's no reason to kill everybody in here. I just did it basically to, um, uh, yeah, I just did it basically. I killed that guy basically because he was in my way and I could. Here? Ow. Jerk. You may, you may or may not want to. I probably will just, just because, yeah. You know. The bubbles annoy me, but I can't do anything about them, but at the... Really? Jerk. So, yeah, now now the best thing to do, of course, is just to, um... Stay here. And screw it. I'm just going... Yeah. Here, on the other hand, we do have to kill everybody. Luckily, you know, we have the magical sword. So, it's not as bad as when we were trying to get through level 4. Uh, although, yeah, I mean, this, this place is... One of the things is that, yeah, it's level 7, but in a lot of ways, it's very much like Quest 1's level 8. Same color, blue dark nut rooms... Okay. So we head up here... Let's see, if I'm correct, there's no reason... Come on. Oh, um, yeah, that room we were just in, that room has the map. Uh, screw it. <laughs> um, one of the interesting things about this dungeon is that it is actually... Um, I, will, I will actually come back in after we beat this place and get the map, because... Yeah. I, it, it'll be easier to fight my way through everybody than to... <laughs> And I will show you the map, but, um, this map is actually the missing half of level 8. The two, if you, the two maps basically, when you fit them together, make a perf, that make basically a square that fits the entire map area. It's kind of weird, actually. They both look like weird spirals. Okay. So, now in here... Yep. We can get a key, but more importantly... We can do that. Ha! And this is gonna take us to the rest of the dungeon. So, yeah. Ugh. And, of course, dark nuts. Lots of dark nuts. Thing is... There's actually no reason to fight these jerks. Just... Ow! Jerk. Except maybe, you know, the, the copious quantities of lag. But there really is no reason to fight these jerks. <laughs> so we come in here. Yes, your life or your money. We could go up, but all that would do would actually be to take us to a manhandla. So... We're just gonna give him 50 bucks and head down and get more dark nuts. Yeah, these guys are ow. <laughs> okay, that I wasn't expecting to get ganged up on like that. That was just ow. Jeez. Okay. Ha. This is one of the nice things, at least, because a lot of these jerkwads, they are going in the wrong direction. They're, you know, they're they're going in a direction that you can stab them. Ow. 
Well, thank you, at least. Ow, jerk. I hate blue dark nuts. Thank you. Okay. Ha, just die. Oh, at least you have. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. yeah. After a while, you start learning where the, um... Where the appropriate, um... In each room design, where the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> you start learning where the, the, the slidable blocks are for each. Um, yeah. For each room design, you learn where the slidable blocks are. I'm sorry. Okay, so we come through here, and yay. More freaking... Dark knots. Okay. <laughs> Time to use the other medicine. Yeah, this takes a while, doesn't it? And this should be fine, because we are almost at the boss. Actually, we don't... Right, no, there was that Goma that we had to kill. Thank you. Ooh, thank you very much. No, I'm not going to do an Elvis impression. There we go. Again? Shh. And then I got hit. Oh, well. Ugh. Hey, bombs. We won't need them against the boss. Because it is the four-headed Gleok. I mentioned that this is basically level eight, didn't I? Same place, same color scheme, same enemy gimmicks, same boss. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of interesting. Okay, there we got that. Like I said, I'm going to come back in and just get the map for you guys just to show it off. Though, again, you can find the maps on GameFAQs. Alright, so we'll head back in. And let's see here. Right, come through here. We can kill everybody, but we really don't have a reason to. We once again have a really, really great setup for killing everything, but not so good for avoiding, you know, getting to the door. Oh well. We don't have to go through the entire dungeon, for one thing, which is nice. So, yeah. Ha! Killed you. No. Oh. I'm going to do exactly what I did before, because, yeah. Trapping one bubble with all... I mean, the blue bubble with all of the enemies is great. Huh. That, ha that's, that exact distribution has happened, like, a couple times now. That's very interesting. Uh, seriously? Lag? Who thought... Don't I mean, seriously? Did were they play testing it on a better system or something? There we go. No reason to kill these guys, but I did anyway because. All right. Luckily, this guy, you know, this guy never respawns. The big ones don't, so Goma won't be here either. So if you died. Okay. I think I'm going to light this place up just for ease of use. Right. But yeah, you can sort of see a lot of this place. Ha ha. Ha ha. Again. Killed those guys. Okay, this is where the map is. And I am going to kill everybody. 
so that you, for your edification. There we go. Nice. Yeah, because there's no hit... The bubbles no longer have hit boxes. The, the dark nuts do, but the bubbles don't. So I cannot be hit by them. And here you see... <laughs> level 7. So yes, if you look very closely, you will find, in fact, that level 7 basically fits right into level 8. Which I thought was interesting. <sighs> well, it's... Er, hmm, actually, I'm not sure. They, they fit very closely. I'm not sure it's perfect. But it's very, very close. Oh, well. We're just gonna head out. We could kill everybody, but yeah. It, it is sort of nice to... There we go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could have warped, but there's no real reason to. So! We finished level 7. And that's pretty nice. In the next episode, we're going to go finish... Uh, we're going to go do level 6. Joy. <sighs> and Rapture. Yeah, level 6 is evil. And you will. We all knew that. So, I'm going to go back up to the gambling place and leave off there. And, you know, next time. Because I know we'll have to gamble up at least 50. I'm pretty sure there's at least one mugger in level 6. Uh, so, yeah. So, I want to thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Legend of Zelda. This LP's coming down to a winding down. It should only be one to two more episodes. Probably two. I can't imagine it's going to take me all of ten minutes to do level six the way it took me to do level five. So, on that note, I will see you guys next time. And you all have a great evening. Goodbye.